Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be doing my grocery shopping tips. I know, it sounds odd and it is like me, but honestly, I was thinking Thanksgiving is this month and not everyone knows what they're doing. I personally may still not know what I'm doing, but I feel like for some people starting off, either whether they're like newly on their own, whether they're in college or, you know, just got married or whatever reason it may be, not everyone knows what's going on. Um, and I by no means feel like I'm perfect or anything, but I felt like I got a good little system going and in the long run it helps everything not be stressful and kind of make sure you know make it look like I know what I'm doing got it all under control but anyways hopefully this helps you guys and yeah let's just jump right into it okay guys so I like to start off by putting a headset in and just listen to music block the world out and get my ass coffee on because it was pretty early in the morning i can say when i was making my list so i already started off with this paper in front of me i just put meals for a week but if you do like every two weeks or monthly you know whichever works for you you do that so i just like write saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and then one two and three is for like breakfast lunch and dinner and then once you got that set then just start writing your meals So my writing isn't exactly perfect, but I can read it and hopefully you can read it. And if you hear dogs in the background, again, my neighbor's dogs, I'm so sorry for that. But um, so this is pretty much the meals for the week. And then I know not everyone eats like that. So I'm going to just write this example meal um, and excuse my voice. I think I'm getting sick. So, yeah, um, but so I put breakfast burrito and then it cut off. <laughs> so, um, I put breakfast burrito sandwich and hamburgers because all of those things seem a little bit more complex than just like oatmeal and cereal, which is pretty much what I have for breakfast, except for the weekends. Um, pretty simple. Um, so next thing I do on the separate piece of paper um is i put breakfast and then under that i go back and forth to my meals and i'm like okay so i'm eating eggs bacon and sausage on the weekends so i need eggs i need bacon and i need sausage and then during the week i eat like cereal and oatmeal fruit so i need my cereal i need milk oatmeal and fruit so then that would be all my items that i need for my breakfast so it's really simple you write down everything you need for it and then you repeat the same process for lunch and dinner Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I Okay, so initially that would be my grocery list right there But I'm gonna do the example um, up here so like for the breakfast burrito what do you typically use um let's say some flour tortillas some potatoes eggs cheese pretty simple but i think that's a uh, very popular um choices and then for sandwich again um it's just the things that i put down in the lunch area so i won't rewrite that but like for hamburgers, you need burger buns, some like ground beef, ketchup, tomato, lettuce, mustard, whatever you like in your burger initially. But that's pretty much what you do. And again, like this part right here. So it's technically like these two steps. You write what you want to eat and then you write the ingredients. Therefore, you're making your grocery list. 
So you could stop there and be like, okay, I got my grocery list and, you know, head out the door and go shopping for it or whatever. But I like to take this one extra step so I spend even less time at the grocery store. Um, so I know pretty much where everything is in my grocery store, you know, when I go in where what is. So what I like to do is since I go aisle through aisle, not every single aisle, but I like to start off like at the right and then work my way left since the, um, registers are on the left. So like I know when I go in, you know, the first is like the fruit and the produce and then it kind of ends up being to the like canned items like the meats and then so on and so on so on this extra step i'm looking at what i already wrote down and i'm like okay so i'm putting the fruit putting the veggies the meat and i'm pretty much putting it in order so whichever way um that i'm walking in my store i'm pretty much just grabbing and going like it's it's literally on the list it's in front of me and then i'm walking on the list in front of me so on and so on so i know this step is so not necessary but again it actually does save time and then also you don't have to go through extra aisles or go back and forth so i really like it okay guys so that is the video hopefully it helps even just one of you i know it seems kind of like a lot but it's really not and it helps a lot when i first started going grocery shopping on my own like i was like i forgot to milk I forgot the sandwich um i mean the bread i would forget so many things and nothing would be right like i would go shopping for like two weeks and I'll end up having food for like four days how what i don't know but you know i feel like with this way everything is just like okay i don't really have to stress about it so hopefully like i said it helps one of you guys out give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe to me if you haven't already and i will catch you guys in the next one bye oh i could be all it is you need because we are trying to find a way to feel